North Fayette Valley Tiger Hawks lost for the first time in 2022 last Friday night, falling to walk on 45-23. And Coach Justin Hines here to recap that one. Uh, Coach, uh, first loss of the season. Uh, what you take away from last Friday night? Yeah, I kind of felt, um, I feel like walk on played their best game of the year. And um, I think we might have played our worst Um just didn't didn't block very well. Didn't do the little things that needed to be done, um, you know, to make the offense go, to do our job on defense, and um, we had a, a couple good efforts out of some guys. You know, Nick Cook and and Aiden Burrow played played really well, and um, but just not a good team effort and good enough of a team effort to beat a team like Walk On. And I know last uh, week was uh, the first game uh, you were playing without Caleb White who uh, went down the uh, week before. And obviously every uh, football coach uh, wants to have that next man up, uh, next man uh, ready uh, mentality. But uh, was it fair to say uh, when you lose a kid like that, there is going to be a little bit of an adjustment time? Oh, for sure. You know, um, with him running half of our offensive snaps, you know, we had all that stuff we had been preparing for with him on you know, as quarterback on offense, and now we kind of had to shift to something else. What were we going to do to to take that place? And um, luckily, we we've been having some guys play in there at the linebacker position. You know, you still miss him, but um, we had some guys that had some experience there. But um, definitely a tough game to to start out with. You know, playing without Caleb. And uh, what are the main lessons uh, from a uh, improvement, a development standpoint that your team needs to take away from last Friday night? Uh, the video, the video was great, you know, be able to sit down and, and show the kids like, and a lot of it was just effort, you know, stuff that we can fix. And, you know, are you working, you know, everything you got to finish your block and are you doing this? And, you know, if you need a break to come off the field and we get someone else in there that can, that can go hard. And, um, so I think we learned a lot that way and, and hopefully, um, those lessons moving forward can help us out. And as you uh, practice here early in the week, uh, you go through your Saturday routine and uh, come back to practice on Monday. Are you sensing a little bit of a hunger uh, from your guys, uh, knowing the fact that uh, that wasn't the North Fayette Valley Tiger Hawk team you want to be last uh, Friday night on the field? You know, for sure. We watched some film yesterday as a group and um, kind of got the sense of that. And we, we, re- we need to turn the page quick. So, so learn from that. And we got another big one this week with Wallert and, um, so we got to get ready to go with these guys and, and you know, learn from those mistakes and, and do what we can do to fix them this week and, and play hard. And we're going to need to, to, you know, to get after the, what are they, the Golden Eagles? I believe they are. And uh, you you uh, talked, you walked into my next uh, point, uh, Dubuque Waller. The competition doesn't get any easier this week. They're off to a undefeated start here in the early going of the season. What's impressed you the most about them? Well, you know, last year they were pretty, you know, we knew they were good and they had started out 0-3, you know, they're playing West Delaware and Davenport Assumption and Xavier and Xavier's the only one that's been able to beat them this year so far. Um, So, you know, if they're beating West Delaware and Assumption that they're a pretty good 2A football team. So um, really good running back and that brocious kid and um, Rudiger's back at quarterback. They did graduate um, the receiver that that gave us fits last year, but uh, they got a good, good group of kids. All right, uh, Coach, hopefully you can get back on the winning track this week. Uh, Best of luck to you. Keep your kids healthy, and thanks for your time. All right, thanks, Darren. Justin Hines, head coach of the North Fayette Valley Tiger Hawks.